Hello and good day once again. This will be a, a video, short video on C programming. Today I'll be showing you an example of how to dynamically assign memory. Uh, memory is an important resource on a computer and you want to uh, maximize the amount of memory you have. It's a very, very important and finite resource on the computer. Okay, so let's get started. Here I have my head of files already created. I have the basic file, the basic code here. My head of file will be using the standard input output file, the standard library file and the string file because we'll be using doing some string manipulation. I have assigned a character name. This is eventually going to be an array. Since we don't know what size of the array would be, so we assign it as a pointer. This uh, character string here is basically going to where I'll, I'll be temporarily storing the name. The size of this array is about 50, so that should be able to hold any first name, middle name, and last name that you come across. But this is not something that's not a good programming practice to keep it to assign a character arrays of a specific size because you want to manage your memory as best as you can. Alright, so here we're going to just ask the user to enter a name and we'll be using the gets s or get string function to get and put the name into the character array here. Okay, so when we get the name, once the uh, user inputs the name, we want to take the length, how many letters are in the character. So to do that, you use the string length function. And that would get the length of the name. Now we, are, we want to dynamically assign space or memory for the name that you just got from the user. So to do that, we will use the malloc function. And we want to uh, since it's a character array, we're taking the memory size for a uh, character. And this would be multiplied by the string length. X and we also have to enter an extra element in the array for the null terminating character. That's what that is what that plus one is for. Then we have to cast the type, which be a character pointer. Since the malloc function returns a null pointer we have to make it clear that we want the the array to be of type character so now we can just do a string copy use the string copy function 
to copy the name in the from the get from the get name array into our dynamically assigned array memory assigned array now that um, the name the uh, the name from get name array has been copied into the name array that was created using the malloc function so this the memory is has been properly assigned the memory and the size for the string that we are trying to save now the string can be a name it could be a names can be of varying lengths they can be a first name, a middle name, a last name. So you just don't know. So which is why it's important to dynamically assign the memory for the name that you're going to store. Now we can just do a, we can check this, just make sure that it wasn't properly assigned to ha make sure that the number of elements were properly assigned into the name array Let's do a uh, y, y equals Save it, run it. Let's do uh, let's print out the string length of get name so we can compare. We'll just print out the contents of the name array here. Make sure that it was properly copied.
Okay, let's try it out. Uh, it's in semicolon. Missing comma. The name length is 16, name array, Keevan Mark Smith, length is 16. So here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 letters. So that memory was properly assigned. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.